Hey yo, what is up guys? This is IDPX here. Welcome back to another review. Today I'm reviewing Hawkeye. Uh, first of all, sorry if uh, the lighting's a bit weird. It's really annoying. Hopefully it's not that much of an issue. Hopefully you don't even know what I'm talking about because I'm that good at editing. Anyways, let's just get right into it. Uh, this is a spoilery review. I wish shows I tend to make them more spoilery. Um, but other than that, yeah, let's get into it. But before we do that, you know what to do. Should I just subscribe to hit the bell and leave a comment? Or I'll shoot you in the face with an arrow. Simple, but should get you to subscribe. So, to give you a little bit of background, at least for like what I was thinking going into this, I, don't know, I was indifferent about a Hawkeye show. Like, I noticed Black Widow and Hawkeye were like the two oldest Avengers, at least in the MCU, that hadn't gotten their own standalone things. And then Black Widow got her own movie, which felt like a long time coming. I, I, I remember people were wanting a Black Widow movie, I don't think anyone really wanted a Hawkeye movie, or in this case, show. But, like, when it was announced, I, was, I wasn't, like, you know, against it. It was just, I never really bothered thinking about it before. But regardless, uh, the trailers uh, dropped, and they were pretty interesting. Uh, and the first two episodes dropped at the same time. Uh, and I thought they were good. I thought every episode was good, by the way. I didn't think there was a bad episode. Uh, some episodes are better than others, uh, but yeah. First off, at least from the first two episodes, which sort of set the mood, I guess, for the whole uh, season, or, I don't know, this might be a mini-series, so maybe series, but whatever. Uh, it sort of sets the mood. It, 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 gets, uh, it tells you that it's more about Kate Bishop, uh, played by Haley Steinfeld, who, by the way, little side note, she's in a lot more than I thought. Like, she does... Like, especially in voice acting, I didn't, like, I didn't know she was spider going and into the Spider-Verse, and I didn't know she was Vi in, uh, in, in Arcane, so, but, yeah, she is, so, pretty cool. Anyways, though, yeah, it's more about her, which I'll, I can see a lot of people not liking. I heard a lot of people actually didn't like that, uh, especially since they thought she was kind of unlikable. I didn't mind her that much, you know, she's, like, in her 20s, or, like, early 20s, of course, she's not gonna be the smartest person. Hey, I'm around that age. I ain't that smart either. Well, give me, I'm fucking making YouTube videos here. But basically, uh, she sees Hawkeye and wants to become, you know, someone like that Hawkeye, right? And this is basically, like, a passing of the torch show, although the season doesn't really end like that. It doesn't really end with uh, Clint passing the torch over to, uh, Kate, necessarily, but, yeah, I, I thought it was a fun series, nothing too crazy, um, one issue I had with it was, there was a lot going on, there was a bit too much, and that was an issue that I had with Falcon and the Winter Soldier, I don't know if I mentioned that in my review for that show, but, uh, upon thinking about it, that show did a lot, and so did this. This show had to deal with, like, uh, Clint and his family, with, uh, Kate, or her mother, and, uh, Jack, and then the tracksuits, and then, uh, Maya, and then, uh, the Kingpin. I want to talk about the Kingpin for a second, because it's both a strength to this show and a weakness, you know? Uh, a, like, a good thing and a bad thing that this show has. For one, you brought back Vincent D'Onofrio to play Kingpin, which, he's perfect in this role, um, and I, like, that was so awesome. And then, spoilers for No Way Home, actually, I won't say anything, but if you've seen it, if you've seen No Way Home, then, yeah, uh, this was, uh, the timing was quite right. Uh, so, yeah, and then... Here's the thing, though, he was, like, revealed as the villain who's pulling all the strings and shit, you know? But then here's the thing, at the end of the finale, he gets killed. Now, there's, like, a comic, uh, storyline where he comes back, and, uh, like, because he got shot a lot in this episode and didn't die. But, as far as we know, he's dead. So you bring him back... Just to kill him off. That, I didn't... You see, you see, it would have been different if he was, like, the villain for the whole uh, season. Which he kind of was. But, like, if we knew he was the villain for the whole season. And, uh... 
and then it was building up to like you want to see him get killed so now he dies no he just got introduced in the previous episode so that was a little that, that kind of sucked but, uh, but I did lo really like this show, you know? It was just entertaining. All the action sequences, it's the, it's the MCU, so of course. But all the action sequences were entertaining. They didn't, they had some explosions, yeah, yeah. But uh, it wasn't like heavy CGI, at least it didn't feel like that. Or maybe I'm just, uh, you know, programmed now to just roll with the CGI and it just seems normal to me, but whatever. Um, everyone in this show is great. Uh, I also, um, I, the first two episodes sort of seem to be about Kate Bishop, right? But the later episodes sort of seem to focus a little more on Clint and uh, try to balance the two uh, for the rest of the season, basically. And I kind of like, you know, we, we get to, like, a lot of people, Hawkeye's sort of the butt end of uh, jokes, you know? Um... It's like, oh, it's just Hawkeye, yeah. They kind of play into that. He kind of, like, there's an episode where he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm nothing. No one cares about me. And it's like, it, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty sad, you know? Uh, and you can, you do feel for him when he, he uh, when he just self-deprecates, you know? And it, yeah, I thought that was a really cool, you know, thing to touch on, thing to do. And yeah, that was, it was pretty cool. Uh, Jack was another thing I wanted, like, he was, he's, he's weird, he, he's, he was so suspicious that it had to be, like, misdirect, you know, he was so suspicious, uh, like, he seemed like such a mustache twirling villain, like, he had a big-ass mustache, I was expecting him to start twirling it, you know, like, whatever, but, it turns out he's not a villain, and in the finale, he's, at, he actually proves his, himself pretty cool, but, um, I don't, it was, I guess, like, even when he's being framed, he's like, oh, I'm being framed, okay, I guess, don't worry, I'll get myself out of jail, this is, uh, quite a shock, but, like, uh, it, it was sort of weird with him, and then, you know, uh, Maya was in the show, or Echo, who, before this show started, they announced that she was getting her own spinoff, I'm not entirely convinced she needs her own spinoff, I don't, think there's as much to work with here I don't know I don't think they're like I remember when they announced her having a spin-off they also announced Agatha Harkness getting a spin-off series uh, she I feel like she can get a spin-off because there's a lot to her but not so much echo I don't know like maybe if it's a prequel uh, maybe they can show sort of the relationship between her and Kingpin and how that sort of uh, fizzled into like toward towards the end of this show, but other than that, I don't I don't see how like Maya was cool and all, but like get her own spinoff series cool. I'm not sure. One thing I remember earlier when I mentioned that there was that this show like had a lot going on, it was uh, kind of overstuffed. Like at the like when we got to the finale or the penultimate episode, by the end of that, it was like how are they gonna pay all these all this stuff off? And they managed to do that. They managed to pay off the side plot with the tracksuits and the and, and Echo. They managed to pay off, uh, you know, the the uh, Eleanor Bishop and uh, the Kingpin. Even though, even you know, even if that was sort of underwhelming, even if he might not be dead. But I, again, as far as we know, he, he is dead. But they managed to pay stuff off and managed to have a good ending. So yeah, that's what I, that's all I got to say about Hawkeye. It was a thoroughly entertaining show. Um, nothing too crazy. Uh, it did have some, you know, it, it introduced the Kingpin, which uh, was was crazy enough. But again, what they did at the end of the show, I'm kind of a little iffy on. But overall, I really liked Hawkeye. In the end, I give Hawkeye season one, or no season, I don't know, this might be a limited series, but whatever. I give Hawkeye an 8 out of 10. So what do you guys think of Hawkeye? Uh, do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? Have you seen it? Have you not seen it? Do you like it? Do you not like it? If you haven't seen it, do you want to see it? Do you not want to see it? I don't know. Anything about this show, let me know down below. I think this might have been my last review of the year, so yeah, I reviewed quite a bit of things this year. 
Um, so yeah, uh, be sure to like this video, comment, subscribe, or I'll shoot you in the face with an arrow. Bye, guys!